Hey everyone, it's Jelly Beans here in Winston and we are here today to talk to you about five beneficial aspects of living in the 12 tribes community slash cult. So I've touched on some of my experiences in other videos, um, but this one is about the benefits and then what you can gain from living with the 12 tribes because there's some really great things going on there as well. So here we are out in this park. It's a beautiful day and I'll just jump right into it. Um, no time to waste. Um, so the first aspect that I was thinking is, for me it was a big one, just relationships with other people. I mean, everyone lives together and there's a lot of, a lot of people like, that live in close quarters and you really get to bond with people um, on a pretty deep level. Um, I mean, everyone goes through real things and, um, and you really get to know each other very quickly. And especially if you've lived with people for like many years, you get to know them very well. So the, the relationships that are formed in 12 tribes are very like real and deep. Um, so that's one. Number two, the people there are great. They're, they're, they're good people, you know, they're really striving to be better people. And I mean, their character, they're calm and they're gentle and they're friendly and respectful. So they're good people, you know. Um, so that's another really good aspect you're just around those people that are really good people and I mean obviously they're trying to be just like Jesus and that's you know some some high standards but it's a they're all really nice people you know um I don't even know if nice is the right word um anyways so the third aspect I have is just living in a in community is was really special to me um you know everyone lived in similar quarters and um there's a lot of sharing going on we shared meals together we shared, we shared a lot of time together um even just sharing responsibilities and things of that nature like everyone would have a role in the community and each individual wouldn't be responsible for like every single aspect of their life like they wouldn't have to like pay the bills and make sure that like so just responsibilities are shared and that can really put an ease off of life and worry about getting all of the things done um, but it's a shared thing as well and the community culture there is active and lively and um, there's always things going on and it's a very like engaging place to live as well um, that's my third thought and my fourth thought is just that they live a pretty healthy lifestyle um, you know so they eat clean, they eat healthy, they, it's all home cooked, the food is really amazing, um, they have a strong work ethic there, um, and they just they have a lot of practices in regards to human health that just make sense, you know? Um, I'm not going to go into the details of that right now, but yeah, they're overall pretty healthy people, I'd say. Um, and then my fifth aspect that I wanted to share is I have a list of all the different things that, you, that I learned that people can learn through living in the 12 tribes. So let me flip this paper over and share a list. Um, so you can learn responsibility, accountability, hospitality, punctuality. You can learn to be more organized and you can learn to be or to have boundaries you learn about relationships um you can learn a really strong work ethic you have healthy healthy practices you can learn to be on a routine you can learn cleanliness and a lot about yourself and others and there's probably many other things that i didn't even go over but they're all valuable lessons and depending on where you are in life like maybe that's the right step for you you know so um i just wanted to share the good aspects of that place and, and not just touch on my hardships and such because there were really great things about that place and i hope you guys enjoyed this find some value out of it hope you can get a different perspective as i'm getting um so take care and thanks for all your comments i appreciate them and uh, I know where you're at, so I can relate to you. <laughs> All right, folks, bye. Let's say bye. Should we go one more time? Give me your ball. Ready? Give me your ball. Ew. Ready? See if you can catch it.
yeah, good doggies.